In this video, we will demonstrate writing equations of lines with five different examples. In each example, we will present the equation in a couple of different forms. The first problem is to write the equation of the line with slope m equal negative 5 thirds and y-intercept 0, 1 sixth. Note that we are given the slope and the y-intercept of the line so we can use the slope-intercept formula. We will substitute m equal negative 5 thirds and b equal 1 sixth into the equation y equal mx plus b. The slope-intercept form of this line is given by the equation y equal negative 5 thirds x plus 1 sixth. To rewrite the equation in standard form, we add 5 thirds x to both sides so that the x term and the y term are together on one side of the equation. When writing a line in standard form, we often want to have integer coefficients. Multiplying both sides of the previous form by the least common denominator 6 will eliminate the fractions. For our second example, let's write the equation of the line with slope m equal 2 passing through the point negative 3, 4. This time we are given the slope of the line and a point on the line, but we don't have the y-intercept. So we'll use the point-slope form of a line. We will substitute m equal 2 and the given point x1, y1 equal negative 3, 4 into the point slope equation y minus y1 equals the slope times the quantity x minus x1. In the point slope form, our equation is y minus 4 equals 2 times x minus a negative 3. We want to simplify a bit by using the definition of subtraction to get y minus 4 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 3. If we want the slope-intercept form of this line, we would distribute the 2 and add 4 to both sides, yielding y equal 2x plus 10. To rearrange this equation into standard form, we want the x term and the y term on the same side of the equa equation. We get minus 2x plus y equal 10, or we can get a positive leading term by multiplying both sides by negative 1. This yields 2x minus y equals negative 10. Note that all of these equations are valid equations of the same line. Our third problem is to write the equation of the line passing through the points a given by coordinates negative 2, 5 and b with coordinates 3, 2. It might help to draw a graph. We plot the points a equal negative 2, 5 and b equal 3, 2 and draw the line passing through them. This line has negative slope. We can calculate the slope using the slope formula m equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Either point can be named 1 or 2. We subtract the y values in the numerator, subtract the x values in the denominator. Simplification produces 3 over negative 5 
which simplifies to negative 3 fifths. Now we can use the point-slope form with m equal negative 3 fifths and point 3, 2. I prefer the point 3, 2 because both of its coordinates are positive. Either given point could be used in the point-slope formula. We get y minus 2 equals negative 3 fifths times the quantity x minus 3. If we want to simplify to slope-intercept form, we get y equal negative 3 fifths x plus 19 fifths. You should confirm this by supplying the algebraic details. Notice that our examples are getting progressively more difficult in terms of what is given and what we are left to find. Now let's write the equation of the line parallel to 2x minus 3y equals 6 and passing through the point negative 1, 4. To begin with a graph, we draw coordinate axes and a grid for scale. We plot the given point negative 1, 4 and plot the given line 2x minus 3y equals 6 Perhaps by using intercepts, we could plot this line efficiently. The line whose equation we desire is the line through the given point and parallel to the given line. To write the equation, we need the slope of the desired line. The slope of the given line can be found by solving 2x minus 3y equals 6 for y. We get y equal 2 thirds x minus 2 and from this equation we know that the slope of the given line is m equal 2 thirds. A parallel line will have the same slope. Now we use the point-slope form of the line to write the equation. y minus 4 equals 2 thirds times the quantity x minus a negative 1. We can simplify to slope-intercept form and get y equal 2 thirds x plus 14 thirds. For our last example, we find the perpendicular bisector of a segment. The problem is to write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining the points A equal negative 2, 5 and B equal 3, 2. A graph might be particularly helpful here. In fact, a graph might help us figure out what the phrase perpendicular bisector even means. Let's start by plotting the points A and B and drawing the segment connecting them. The line we are asked to find should be perpendicular to the segment and bisect it. To bisect means to cut or divide into two equal halves. We can find the midpoint of the segment and then find the line through the midpoint that is perpendicular to the given segment. Thus we have a plan for our solution. First we need to find the midpoint of the segment. The midpoint formula says to average the x-coordinates and average the y-coordinates. 
Our midpoint has coordinates negative 2 plus 3 over 2 and 5 plus 2 over 2. Thus the midpoint is the point m equal 1 half 7 halves and this is a point on the desired line. Now we need to find the slope of our desired line. Right now we can only find the slope of the given segment but that definitely helps our cause. Recall that the formula for slope is m equals the difference in y coordinates over the difference in x coordinates. Using our given points we have 2 minus 5 in the numerator and 3 minus negative 2 in the denominator. The given segment has slope m equal negative 3 fifths. The desired line is perpendicular to the given segment. So we use the negative reciprocal slope of 5 thirds. Now we are ready to use the point slope formula and write our equation. We get y minus 7 halves, the x coordinate of a point on the line, equals the perpendicular slope of 5 thirds times the quantity x minus 1 half, the y coordinate of a point on our line. Quite a bit of simplification is required if we want to put this equation in slope intercept form. First we start with the point slope form. Next we distribute 5 thirds. Then add 7 halves to both sides of the equation. To add minus 5 sixths and 7 halves requires a common denominator. Addition yields that 5, uh, 5 thirds x plus 16 sixths. Finally, the 16 sixths reduces to 8 thirds and we've arrived at our final answer y equal 5 thirds x plus 8 thirds. So the final answer is that the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining the points a and b is given by the equation y equal 5 thirds x plus 8 thirds. You probably noticed that this final example was rather challenging and required many steps to solve. You should carefully look back over the solution and make sure that you understand both the overall procedure and each calculation step.